What? Technical difficulties tonight. It kept bouncing me off. Yeah, mine too. Me too. And back That's on. okay. I was in the wrong meeting. I was wondering where everybody was. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. Happy yep. Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, Glenda, how are you? Did you get my email this morning? Yes, I did. Thank you. Oh, now there we are. I should put not Gerald Jackson on here, huh? <laughs> you probably. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good. Hey, I have a question for you. Did you send out a, a, a new logo that was the, like, it was the, the one that used to be the rotocyclist and it was changed for our club? I looked for that the other day and it seemed like somewhere in my imagination, I remember somebody modified that and sent it out, but I don't know if it was you or somebody else. I don't know, but I think I have it on my computer. Okay. You want me to send it to you? I would really like that. Okay. And if you come up with a better idea, go for it. It's very close to what I came up with for my own uh, rotary business cards. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I got this stack of paper to go through with you guys. Anybody else have a hard time signing in? I couldn't get in tonight. Yeah, yeah I had a real hard time. I signed in about three tries. Yeah, I, that took me three or four tries. Yeah. Huh. Computers. Looks like we have another Gerald Jackson. Again. Again. Well, this happened a uh, couple weeks in a row. I try thought I signed out. But... <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the real Gerald Jackson tonight? Please stand oh. up. No, he's working somewhere. I'm it. <laughs> You're stuck with me. Cool. So we've got not Gerald Jackson running the meeting? Yep. Good. <laughs> Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is Terry Moore in Charleston. I've got to cut short tonight this meeting because I got to go because I'm really in the middle of something right now. Would and you I do just pulled away to let you let you know let you know that uh, <laughs> I'm planning on uh, being your speaker next week. So I hope everybody will tune in. Good. Terry. Yes. Did you run out of wine? <laughs> Actually, no. I'm doing a whiskey demonstration, but thank you. I was gonna, I was gonna show you guys and video it, but I didn't think you had time. <laughs> did, did Chris Berry join us tonight? Are you saying? Not yet. Okay, I'm I'm still working on him to be a, a regular member. But We're like, I was we, hoping he was gonna. We need two more, so bring him on board. Okay, I'll I'll keep pushing him. All right, y'all. Good night. Thanks for letting me interrupt. Good, good night, night, Jerry. Okay, good thank night. you. See you next week. All right. Should I go through all the fun stuff first? Did everybody get their dues notice? Yep, Stephen paid. I got mine. Come yep. on. Yep. Anybody not get theirs? I'm paid. Okay. Throw that one away. Yeah, not paid. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, there was a survey monkey survey that came out from Jerry for club charter officers and committee members. Did you guys Build get all that? Yep. Build it out. Done. Build it out. Good. Yeah. Likewise. Okay, um, let's see. He said the truck refurbish project must have been something you guys talked about while I was working in the tulip fields last month. I don't know that one. You don't know that one? No. Nope. Uh, no. That, huh? Nope. No? Nope. Says he got the official word from our exec in Guatemala. The truck refurbish project will be between 4000 to $4,500. I don't know. I think that well, has nothing to about something it. else. News to everybody. Is that the one that runs out to the uh, hinterlands? Could be. Could be. 
find out. I'm going to use just that verbiage too. Okay. I guess the bylaws passed last month with the vote. Yep. Yep. Mm, yeah, we need two more to charter, two more regular members to charter. Uh, we need to stay on top of Terry for his possible new guy. Yep. Yeah, I've been talking to people. I need to go to, I've, I've got time now. I'm going to go to some of the local um, motorcycle shops. We've got a couple of them close by. This two, you know, more than two would be great, but two more to charter would be awesome. Uh, I know, Glenda, read your uh, group chat message. Okay. He's got club dues discussion on here, but I don't know what he means by that. Um, then he's got two proposed projects. One is a community project. One is international. Did you guys, did you guys get an email, an email about that? Nope. I just got it. Okay. So he said two projects. This is what he's outlining. It says in light of this year's RI president, Ian Reasley's request to do so, I would like for the club to approve us doing a plant tree planting project. As a club project, my idea is for our members to individually purchase and plant a tree on their own. They could do more than one if they so wish. This could be at their home or in a public place for which they have permission to do so. Would also like our club to select a date that we can all do this, provided that date was set before June 30th. If you can't do it on a specific date, do it on your own alternative date. And then he wants a selfie picture with you and your newly planted trees and we'll put a collage together celebrating the project. What do you guys think of that? Sounds doable. Sounds doable. Is that something that's, that everybody's doing? Like if I go to the Interact Club at my son's school, would they know about it or should I just invite yeah, them? They should. If you've got Rotarians that are involved in the Interact Club, then they should know about it. I know our, our Rotaract Club here in my community, because it's countywide, um, they went down to Arlington, which is about 30 minutes south of where we're at and help plant trees down there a couple weeks ago. So they should, but I can't guarantee that they do. But if they don't know about it, then you can tell them about it. I, I will. <laughs> All right. Now, if it's planted during President Ian's tenure, does that count or are we looking at something new? No, it would count. Because I've planted a bunch on my property. I'm going to take a selfie with them. I can do that. <laughs> That'll work. Hey, we're kind of short on property around here, DC. Can we come up to your place and plant some trees? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I, I got seven. Lots, lots of room here. Okay. I, I've, I've got 70 some acres, so we can find something. That'll work. It's like something we do in high school when we thought we were funny, like go teepee houses, put forks <laughs> in everybody's yard, plant a bunch of trees. Ooh, that could be fun. <laughs> what do you recommend with regards to like in a, in an urban area, do you have to get permission? I mean, if you're you in, yeah, in an urban area, get permission. If it's on your property, obviously you don't have to, but if you're going out and about in the community, then like I would go to the town of LaConnor and get permission if I wanted to really do it in LaConnor, but no, I'd probably do it in Olympia. <laughs> Maybe check if there's a park by you that's actually sponsored by the Rotary. Yeah, that would work too. Okay, and then the international project says, earlier this year we discussed the possibility, oh, here's where the truck thing comes in, the possibility of funding a four-wheel off-road vehicle for the native Mayan nurse practitioner that runs the Casa Calibri Clinic in Guatemala. That's the one, yeah. Unless I'm mistaken, there seemed to be good interest in doing so. And that was at a cost of over 15 grand. And that's where he came back and said 4,000 to 4,500. Things were delayed, then waiting to see how things progressed in Guatemala. Things have changed slightly there now and for the better. A used four wheel drive pickup has become available from a change to other work we have there. This pickup is in need of six to 8,000 of repairs, but came back 4,000 to 4,500. 
to put it into full service for this project? Would our club like to take on this project as our first international service project? We don't have to take the full bill as I think there is possibility of getting some matching funds from a few friends of mine and I personally commit to $1,000 of it. So we'll open it up for discussion. What do you guys think? Well, I think given Gerald's commitment and the reports that we get back and the uh, program that was given on that, I personally would be in favor and I think. So am I to understand that we're buying a truck, but it needs work? And so no, okay. no, it sounds like they have the truck and it needs work, it needs some repairs and replacement. Oh, okay. And who's to manage the the repair costs and and all of that? The person that is responsible for it, or is there a club down there that's going to do that? Or I don't know. I'll find out. Because I'm all for it, but I don't want to throw a hundred dollar bills in the wind either. Yeah. No, we did that down in uh, Guatemala with a mobile library. We don't do that anymore. What How would you go about timeline? finding out? What's that? How would you go about finding out what, what's, re what's involved? Um, I'll have Jerry find out. He's got the contact down there. Oh. oh yeah, he goes to Guatemala each year, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Was Maybe. there a timeline on that one? Um, it doesn't. It no, sounds like he was trying to get commitments on both of these uh, as possibly as soon as possible. Yeah. Maybe what I'll do is I'll set up a survey monkey and send it all out to you guys. I can do that. It'll just be a simple and then you can vote that way. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good. Good plan. Yeah. So yeah, what else? The, yeah. In the comment section on the survey monkey, we could specify a responsible party to provide um, copies of receipts and labor, and maybe we authorize up to 3,500 initially and uh, such. Okay, I'll put a comment box in there. Good idea. And you can write whatever you want. All right, that's everything he gave me. So if you authorize up to 3,500, where does the money come from? Well, Jerry's going to, he said he'll put up a thousand dollars. He's got a few friends that are willing to do some matching funds. So then I guess it's just the rest of us committing some money, you know, whatever our budgets allow. Doesn't have a to be dollars. What people are doing now in these projects is, is setting up GoFundMe pages. Yeah. And there's actually a website that doesn't charge nonprofits. I've, I've researched it for the scholarship foundation board that I sit on because we were going to do that instead of doing a mailer like I did last year. Yeah. So I'll research that or I'll pull the notes out. Well, 3,500 for a, an international project is not, a, not a huge amount. No, it's not they, and it's pretty low. If, if they're committing roughly 25% of the cost, uh, from their own pockets down there, um, he, that that's an interesting situation and gets medical supplies out into the rural country. Exactly. The other question that I have is if, uh, if the repairs are 4,500 and we have an opportunity to maybe get a matching grant, why are we not thinking about just buying a good used vehicle and upgrade, giving them an upgraded vehicle instead of, instead of repairing the one that they have? I just, it's just a question. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know with my district here in 5050, they do grant applications go in by, I think it was August, July 31st. And then they start handing out or notifying people in September. So that kind of lengthens the timeline. I don't know how it is in your guys' districts. I, I get confused by guidance from uh, TRF about whether a vehicle in and of itself is acceptable. So we'd need to explore that. Okay. Do you want to do that, John? 
I can do that. All right. I, I, I agree, you know, we, um, TRF, uh, we, we had a meeting about two weeks ago and TRF thinks there's millions of dollars out there not being used uh, in by districts. And uh, one of the problems um, is that TRF doesn't know how to account for obligated funds that have been obligated at the district, but not yet made it to TRF. But, uh, you know, you can do multi-district uh, uh, projects. Yeah. I like Brian's idea. John, what's TRF? Is that the Rotary Foundation? Ro Rotary Foundation. Okay. Rotary has uh, more acronyms, I believe, than the U.S. Army. Ah. <laughs> oh, what else do I have? I think that's everything I have. Are combined. I don't, he didn't give me anything else. Uh, he said, okay, this is the truck. <laughs> Nothing else. Please. I had volunteered a few weeks back to put together a template for business cards and then I've pretty much missed everything between then and now. Has, um, did somebody else pick that up or are you guys still Jerry? desperately waiting for me to put that together. I forgot about it, so I wouldn't <laughs> worry. Okay. I, I did find, um, Brian, I'm not sure if you've seen it. I had sent to Jerry uh, Rotary's guidance on visual, um, visual identity, which has all of the RGB and all of the things that they want um, us to follow. Um, I could send that out to the group if anybody else is interested in it. And I'll, tr I'll, try to, I'll just try to follow that when I put together the template on so I think Jerry sent, out a, Jerry sent out a template for mm -hmm. the motorcycling Rotarians based on a, I think it was an IFMR uh, template. This one, this one's more um, specific ways that they want the logo to be used and exactly which blues and exactly which colors and stuff. But, um, not that they're going to come knocking on our door for copyright infringement or anything, but just sort of awareness sake mm -hmm. you know you can log into ro my rotary and do a um one that's specific to the club have you done that oh, talking to nobody i was just about to say i did volunteer to be on the tech committee so i could probably figure it out and then i was talking through a muted mic so <laughs> okay so club logo. Rotary logo. I can make one up real quick. I do it all the time for my club. Um, and I'll send it to you, Amanda. Thank you. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Next week tentative. That's Terry. Okay, we got that. Happy hour meeting on the 22nd. No meeting on the 29th. Amanda, you get to talk about yourself on the 5th. I'm not much of a talker. I won't be on that meeting. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll be in Harold's. No, I'll be north of Harold. I'll be in, uh, at Duke University that weekend or that week. Uh, quite far south, south enough. Huh? Not far enough. south enough. No, close. Yeah. Okay, and then you're, Harold, you're the speaker June 19th. Good luck, guys. Good luck? Yeah, bring a lot to drink. Huh. I'm gonna drown uh, I think we both get far more interesting when everybody gets drinking. <laughs> There's a there's a bar at Purdue University called um, Harry's Chocolate Shop. Ooh, I know it sounds chocolate. The first time I was there, I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna go there." Yeah. Well, it's a bar, <laughs> totally a bar. But um, 
They have a say, sign in there that says, go ugly early. Drink them ugly early. <laughs> go ugly early. It's good. It's like, nice. There's a couple of other ones. That's the only one I remember. Um, what if you already go in that way? Huh? What if you already go in ugly? I guess you get... And a few drinks up. makes it better. You meet the early criteria. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We could, we could put together a rally over to the... Uh, Alligator Alley, Alligator Alley in Punta Gorda, which is a local rum distillery, and they one of their four flavors is a chocolate rum that goes well with uh, Kahlua and most any other liqueur. I am there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good on ice cream. Can we start talking about good cheeses? Because we were talking about drinking, and my husband brought me a pint of beer. <laughs> Boy, you got him trained well. <laughs> He's actually far more interesting than I am. He's actually a sommelier. <laughs> I joke that my boring job keeps us both sober and he keeps us fun. <laughs> so, so there's your, that's all I was going to say on, the, on uh, June 2nd. So that's a good balance. That's a good balance. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Okay, let's see. Oh, today's the eighth, isn't it? It says Rotary Education. Really? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's been a fun day. Huh. Okay, I'll give you some education. Oh, no. Donate to the annual fund so that your district governor nominee designee will have some money to spend. Do that every month. I, mine just goes automatically on my credit card. You guys set that up? Yeah, that's what that. I do. Yeah. But then you got to tell your club about it because they don't look. Has anybody completed the Rotary Academy? Just a question if we're going to talk about uh, Rotary education. What's the Rotary Academy? Is that the same as RLI? No, um, and it's through every district, um, but it's an education that's done through the district. And it, it goes all the way from uh, club service, all the avenues of service, and then all the way up to uh, uh, RI and, and the, the uh, foundation. It's a pretty, pretty involved thing, but you can do it online, and it's pretty cool. It sounds like RLI. It, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's it like does. level one, two, three, and master. Yeah. Yeah. Is that specific to your uh, district, Brian? It was specific to uh, our district in Nevada, yeah. yeah. And they called it Rotary Academy. Maybe there's a different name for it out east, and I didn't know. Is it like a, a three different levels, and uh, you, most people go once a year? No, it's done online. It's, it's, uh, it's all 100% online. Yeah. It's called Rotary Institute? No, it's called Rotary Academy. Rotary Academy. Okay. It sounds a whole lot like RLI. Yeah. Which is good for most new members to go to because it's everything you ever wanted to know and then some. In a different world, RLI is Realtors Land Institute. <laughs> Oh. Linda, yeah. Um, you were saying that we need two more members. Does that uh, include my membership transfer coming over, or two besides? No, that? that would be two more in addition. Okay. So we're up to eighteen with you and I and all everybody else, and then um, we need two more. Then we can charter. Okay. More would be awesome, but two for sure. Okay. Share it on your Facebook. I just shared the whole, the meeting on my Facebook, the club's Facebook, and then IFMR. So just share it wherever you can share it. Can we work on, um, I'm putting together a template um, for inviting people to join, like for emails. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be helpful if we, I don't know if you guys have one already. 
Um, there's a, I can send you the PDF that I created a while back. And then it allowed you to put your name and stuff on the bottom for contact. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. That PDF is great, by the way, Linda. That thing is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very now, much. Linda, would you send me another copy of that, please? Why yeah, don't you send it out to everybody? everybody. Um, I will. You could also hand that out to local rotary clubs themselves and see if any of the associate members might want to become regular members of the uh, motorcycling Rotarians. Yeah, we have in our district, um, our, one of our past district governors started something called a passport club. So it's called the Northwest Passport Club and it's, or Passport Club of the Pacific Northwest. So it, what they targeted was former Rotarians or people that left for one reason or another. They meet in person once a month and then the rest of the time by phone or, you know, coming together for projects and stuff like that. So I gave Jerry his contact information and he's happy to share it. So we'll see what happens with that. It might be a good way to kind of format our club. I'm going to publish this on the chat to the group. It's funny you should mention that there was a uh, training seminar at four o'clock today and uh, the, the passport club was specifically mentioned. And uh, not, you know, they, they target a bunch of people, uh, but it's a good way to, to get a, a good a lot of membership. I'll put that on the general chat, the, the contact. Okay. Maybe. They've had good success with it here. I think it chartered in, it, they chartered in March. <clears throat> so quiet. Do you guys have any ideas for um, programs? Anybody? Like what, what, what kind of programs? Well, we're doing kind of sort of classification talks, but just other, you know, outside programs. Like we had the Christina Noble Foundation. We've had speakers. I'm working on one from the editor from the magazine that Chris King was talking when he jumped on a couple times with all the different trips you can take on your motorcycle. I've talked to her on the phone. I have to kind of get back with her. I, I have a weird, I have a weird thought. I have a little puppy that's now 11 months old and I've been told don't take her on the motorcycle. And I've had others say it's perfectly good. Get a, you know, a, a safety carrier on a luggage rack or uh, put her in a, you know, kids deal on a queen seat or whatever, but make sure, you know, they're, they're strapped in tethered and, Got their little leather jackets and goggles and so forth. Anybody have any experience maybe doing a program for transporting pets? <clears throat> nope. It's a great idea. Do you want to try to do some research on that, Tom? Well, I, I could try to do some research on it. I have a daughter and a son-in-law that are ER doctors, and they're not in favor of my transporting my 11-month-old puppy on the motorcycle. If you haven't seen sidecar dogs, you should take a look at that. It's like 80% of the sidecars in the U.S. are bought for dogs. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, to a small degree, that takes away from the motorcycle riding experience in my mind. But on the other hand, it's nice to have your companion along with you. Well, the dogs love it. Oh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I passed a motorcycle one day in traffic and he had a milk crate on the back of his motorcycle with a terrier of sorts in the back on the freeway. The dogs seem to be having a good time. <laughs> Let's hope they don't go down. Yeah. Um. If you want to see what you can find out, and I'll see what I can find out. Let's see if we can find somebody. Probably July, August. All right. 
See if you volunteer if you volunteer information, I'm gonna it's have you research it. I'll take the monkey off your shoulders and put them back on the shoulders of the party that made the suggestion. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Amanda found the Rotary Academy info, so there's a link there. Good job, Brian. There's a link in I didn't do anything. Amanda did everything. <laughs> oh, she just totally mansplained me. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Geez, we got like 26 minutes to go. Who else has something? Who's typing? Is that you, John? Sorry, I thought I was muted. Um, Amanda and I are talking army. Um, I, I did go last week and complete day two of the recon of, uh, of the spring ride. Uh, those of you who are coming, it's going to be a fantastic ride. I, uh, I made sure that there are no gravel roads in spite of my POS wanting to go down short roads, but there's some beautiful country, some beautiful rides. Uh, it's not too late to join up if you haven't. How many riders will there be, John? So far, I think we're in the neighbor of, neighborhood of eight to ten. Okay. Hmm, good. That's a good size group. It's a good size, and uh, um, the, the only thing that concerns me is uh, on day one, I, uh, I used the POS to go from Blacksburg to Front Royal and took me one route. And then last week I went from Front Royal to Blacksburg and it took a different route. Uh, all I know is if I see gravel, I'm turning around. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hey, John. Jerry, Jerry's pretty good at doing off-road. Um, no, I don't think I'll ever do an off-road again in my life. You're fun. Yeah. John, are you on that right, Harold? Yeah. Good. Hey, John. Yeah. I won't be joining you at the beginning of the ride, but uh, I'll meet up with you guys in Blacksburg. Okay. Would that work? Is that okay? Oh, absolutely. Are, are you going to be staying? Are, will you meet us in the morning or will you meet us there that uh, the night before? I'll stay there that night. So I, okay. I guess it'll be the answer is the night before. Okay. I can't leave Charleston until Friday. Um, Thursday or Friday. It's right outside the campus of Virginia Tech. Um, they okay. don't have a restaurant within walking distance, but they have a bunch of uh, restaurants that deliver at a reasonable rate. And uh, there's like a cool a gas station slash quick stop that we can go get some uh, beverages. And I've already asked. So I like that beverages. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. It's after the beverages that the off-roading happens, right? That's that's how the. What was it, Blair? I said it's after the beverages that the off-roading starts to happen, right? I think that's. How uh, it no, I don't. I don't. You might, but I won't. <laughs> you didn't take oh. lots of pictures, right? Uh sure. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Nothing questionable. Nothing questionable, but stuff we can put up on the website and the Facebook page. Correct. And definitely not of anyone who may have a tip over, et cetera. No. No. Those aren't allowed. Good. Unless Good. it's a teaching moment. It could be a teaching moment. Yeah. There is one curve uh, on one section of the road that the suggested speed limit is either five or 10 miles an hour. It's a sharp curve. Oh, huh, huh. somebody's going to love that. Me. Well, J Jerry won't be there. Uh, J Jerry seems to have this thing that he wants to scrape peg, and I just don't have that desire. Just put that snow plow on the front of his <laughs> And he can't. It won't work. 
I, uh, I went on one segment. It, now, my GPS, when I tell it to take the shortest route, it finds the shortest route. Yes. So I went about five or six miles up this uh, road, and it, it, was, uh, it was paved. It was quite pretty. Uh, oh, wow. We passed a couple waterfalls, but then all of a sudden it became gravel. Yeah. So I eliminated that from the, the repertoire. Oh. But on, uh, when I was coming home, um, I was on this four-lane highway, and, and I try to avoid those, but it wanted me to take a shortcut. And I could see from the top, um, you remember that, uh, that road we went down last year that was so muddy? and That looked good compared to this road. Uh, it, it was basically two rubs. And, and I decided maybe we shouldn't do that one. Good plan. Thank, I appreciate that, Blair. <laughs> hey, Blair. Hey, I while I'm, while I'm stalking it's John. Got a oh. great color to it. Okay, okay, there were two people going. I don't, Amanda, what'd you say? Uh, go ahead, Brian, because you're you're on topic, no, no, and I was, was going to change. It was just silly. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, nothing silly happens here. No, <laughs> um, I was just going to say, as I'm I'm stalking John on LinkedIn. Um, I don't know a lot about you guys, but I have a feeling we all probably have connections we could use if, if anybody's interested. So um, find me on LinkedIn and connect, and I'm, I'm gonna stalk y'all too um, and make it a little bit easier to start seeing where we might be able to play off of one another to gain members. Sure. Good idea. Cool. That's it, that's all I have. I have one good idea, that's it. You have more than one good idea. I was going to say, you guys could have come and read scholarship applications with me last night. No, I'll pass. I would love to. Can you send them? No, you would be amazed. No, I, I, I coach high schoolers. I would not be amazed, I promise you. 41. I coach high schoolers and I work with adults. Nothing amazes me anymore. You guys can't write. They can't follow directions. Even the straight A number one person in the class out of 41 didn't follow directions. It's like every year. We don't have that problem in our club. Um, we get excellent applications. The one thing I absolutely will never do is judge a four-way speech contest. I, I don't know if you guys have that in your district, but these kids are just stunning in a good way. Uh, we don't do that here. Oh, I, I recommend it. it. It's just amazing to see what these kids do. Like a, like a debate? Well, it, it's a, um, I, I don't know what all the parameters are, but they have to speak on the four-way test. And the way we have it set up in our district is each, the clubs that choose to participate will conduct a contest and they'll give the kid some money. Then it goes to a region, which is typically set up to correspond with their areas. And uh, then the area will select candidates. And then at district conference, uh, I think the five finalists uh, speak. And it is actually the highlight of our district conference. These kids, uh, the one who won, I know she's a professional speaker. You can't tell me she's in high school. Uh, well, well composed strong message uh, it makes you feel good about the future we could do one of those couldn't we as our club we could do one uh that would be tough to do think so uh, well you know I, I believe all things are possible uh you might consider your current club now uh, i can get you in contact with the guy who organizes it in our district although I will tell you that he's very enthusiastic about it. it has Honestly, to be it would be good experience for the kids because this is the way that we do meetings and we present things every single day, right? This would be a good experience for them to have to do the same thing in, a, in an environment that could be glitchy, that could not show their document, whatever they're trying to do. Yeah, good practice. The, the yeah. girl who won this year had tried two years previous 
and she had so much to overcome in life. Uh, her dad was locked up in jail, uh, wound up getting a divorce. I think she was abused at home. Mm-hmm. And uh, in Hershey, we have what we call the Milton Hershey School, which is for kids who uh, are having a tough bit of luck, and they, they really turn them around. But she was just so darned impressive. Uh, impressive. So these things have to be proctored somehow, um, uh, according Typically, to a lot of the guidelines. So we'd have to figure out how to manage that. Uh, it, there, there may be guidance on the Rotary International site. If you're interested, uh, you know, you can send an email to me, and I'll hook you up with the guy in, uh, in our district. But basically, you start with the English teachers in the local high schools, try and get them interested, because uh, we also have for ninth graders the four-way speech essay contest. Uh, that would be easier to proctor for sure. Because it, then, it is. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, wh- whoever in the club is in charge, um, you know, you, you gather up the, uh, the essays and you farm it out to four or five different members of the club. Uh, that would be easy, easier, I think, for, um, for us. But yeah. uh, then again, they do compete at uh, area level and district level. So we could just do it at the club level. Oh, sure. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, you know, it's just, it introduces young people to the four-way test, gives them a chance to excel and to uh, maybe go away with a prize. We could do that. And one of the things I try to involve the kids in our high school as much as I can in our club. I mean, we've had a student photographer for our Santa breakfast for the last, he's done, this is his fourth year and he actually brought in another kid to train him to take over because he's graduating this spring. So I was like, why not use them? This, there's a student that did the artwork for our auction in August. You know, she'll get one of our scholarships. But Stuff like that. So Brian. Who's hammering away on the computer? Sorry. That sounds like John's fingers. Yeah. Hey Brian, could yes, you do a little, do you have time to do some research on that and get back to us? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Who hasn't gotten a project yet? Blair. Yes. Jim. Harold, Glenda, and Keith. <laughs> you guys want a project too? Let's find let's find one for you guys. We'll think of something. Gee, look at the time. Boy, it's oh, oh, we gotta go. Uh, time's up. Right. Yeah. Is do you guys have anything else for the good of the order today? Yeah? No? Not, not I. Not I. Not, Not from here. All right. Well, who wants to lead the four-way test? Blair? I'll do that. I'll do that. Sure. Are we ready? ready? Ready. Okay. Is it the truth? Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it build goodwill, will it build goodwill and better, better friendships? Friendship? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Will it be beneficial, will it be beneficial to all concerned? concerned? And will it be fun? And will it be fun? Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, you guys. We'll see, see you next you. week. Thanks, bye. See you next week. Yes, have a good week. Good night. Yeah. Good night. 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 Good